Kia ora, Jordan. Kia ora. Welcome to Tones. Thank you very much. That was very fun. Thanks so much for having us. Oh, no, the pleasure is ours because you've set a record for our Tones episodes where <laughs> we managed to fit an eight-piece setup in the lounge. Yeah, you were like, keep it low-key, really chill vibes. <laughs> and I was like, cool, eight-piece band. <laughs> Did you do um, like choir or barbershop in high school? I did church is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Sunday services, seven in the morning. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you, you don't um, have a, you don't get given like a specific part. You just, you sing what you sing, but you know it works. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you, you kind of just find your way. But I'm, I appreciate all the experience because it's really worked out. The harmony arrangements the vocal arrangements even your yeah. melodies they're so seamless and you you bring this like spark of funk and pop and 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 this energy and music that doesn't really need to be like 170 bpm thank you because i wouldn't be able to keep up anyway <laughs> you know like i'm not a dancey dancey girl i really love the dancey dancey girls because it's very exciting to watch but you know you got to tailor it <laughs> to your capacity <laughs> What is coming out this year? I'm working on an album this year that I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, ask me in a month how that's going. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm romanticising everything about it. Um, and it'll be fun. How long have you been romanticising about this album? I've always wanted to do an album. I feel like since I started taking music seriously, maybe over the last two years, I've, I've kind of imagined what kind of album I would create. And so I think it'll be a bit R&B, a bit soul, a bit pop funk, you know. Yes. Those vibes. Not 170 BPM gig, but the, the gig that keeps you moving. But exactly. Have but a, feel a, a sippy soul. sippy on something. Yeah. Sit down with your mates and like have a good vibe. And that's me in the background playing some music. would you tell other artists who are like oh I want to start but I don't know how or where. yeah you just got to back yourself you know you I really believe in the songs that I write like I believe in because they heal me and they're so therapeutic for me I can believe it for other people too and I think you just have to back yourself like that and even if you don't feel it I think you just have to tell yourself it um, because I think if you do one brave thing then all of a sudden that seems normal and then you can do the next brave thing and the next. So you just got to keep setting yourself up like that. Just take that leap of faith. There you go. Inspiration. And final question. How do you set the tone? You know what? I think every single person brings in a kind of energy into any space. And um, I love my band. Shout out to the band because I think the energy that you bring into any space um, sets the tone. So my band just comes in like, they just want to jam. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, and my vocalists are really fun. And I think we all just get along together anyway. Um, but I think when you're doing writing sessions, when you go in anywhere, I try and um, leave people feeling good. I try and make sure that people know I'm grateful for opportunities. Uh, and I think that's a really beautiful way to set the tone. And be confident, you know, there's a good way to do it all. You can do it all. I love that. Yeah. And you can feel that. When when you all were performing, there is a natural energy that flows between you all. And I have to, 
I've got to be in work mode here, but when you're watching it, you can't help but smile. Yeah, cool. I love that. So thank you so much. Shout out to Jordan with a Y. Thank you so much the for band. having me. Watch your episode and wait for that album. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>